Hi friends! In our last math lesson, we looked at subtracting tens, which looked like this on our open number line. So we had, for example, our last problem we did was 74 minus 40. So we made sure to write our starting number on the far right, so we would have room to count back. We checked our tens digit and did our hops. Minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10. We added in our numbers, and then we found our answer was 34. Just a quick review of our last problem. Now, let's take it up a notch, because we're always ready for a challenge, aren't we? So, if we have the number 64, oh, I just like fours, don't I? If we have the number 65, let's make it different, minus, oh my, Miss Bible's brain is gone. I should just start writing this over. 65 minus 26 equals something. So the things that stay the same as last time, our starting number goes on the right. Then I go do my tens digit. 10, 20. And I like to label my tens because this lets me kind of take that, keep focused on tens and then on ones because sometimes when you're trying to switch back and forth, you can accidentally label ones as tens and tens and one, as ones. So up to here, it's the same as what we just did. Now I need to go back and look at my ones digit. My ones digit is six. So I'm gonna come back to my number line and add six little ones hops. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Notice that I started right here where I left off at 45. So 45 and then anybody remember from last time I like to make those lines longer. So I went backwards one, that's 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39. So my answer, my difference for 65 minus 26 is 39. Now notice I'm using my small handwriting. It is very easy when I'm using this digital pen in particular to write really, really big. But if I do that on my, one, on my number line, it's really easy to make a mess, isn't it? And this is why if you are a person that maybe after we learn this, you noticed that you tended to make mistakes um, on our open number line because of that, then maybe a 120 grid or a different strategy might be your friend. But for today, and I accidentally deleted my number line, so for today, we're all going to practice our number line. So let's do another one. I love the number 49, so let's use the number 49. 49 minus 23 equals something. Starting number goes to the far right side. So I've got lots of space probably get rid of that big old arrow I made. Then I move on to my tens. Let's use, I've been using blue for my tens. 23. So I need to go minus 10, minus 20. Let's go back and label. So 49 was here. So now we're counting backwards. 39, 29. And I'm ready to do my ones. 
I've got three little ones, so I go right here to 29 where I left off. Minus one, minus two, minus three. And then I can use my little trick to make labeling neater. 28, 27, and 26. And then I like to circle my answer because it helps me remember that was my answer. So the difference in 49 minus 23 is 26. Now, I'm sure you guys are experts by now, but we're going to do one more and then you're going to get to work. Let's start at the number 100 and 103 minus 45 equals something. My starting number is 103. So I'm going to go to the far right because we need space, right? Correct? And then I'm ready to go take away my tens. I have four tens to take away. 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm gonna go label my tens. 103 going backwards 10 is 93. If that's tricky for you, your 120 grid could probably help you with this. Okay, so I labeled my tens counting back, 103, 93, 83, 73, 63. Then I just need to go do my ones. So I'm gonna come right here to 63 where I already was and get started. Minus one, two, three, four, five. So 64, 63, I can't read today, can I? 63 minus 1 is 62, 61, 60, 59, 58. So the difference of 103 minus 45 is 58. So your reminders before we get started, you've got starting number on the right. Then you're going to count back by tens. Then your next step is to count back your ones. And it's really important to keep it all nice and Neat. Let's practice on our own now. 